take one. <laughs> G'day sports fans, welcome to another video from me, Birinzi, your host. Um, after the success of the last video, the Romaniacs cost in one, um, I had a heap of questions about, um, about the race. Well, actually I had a couple of questions. Well, one, I had one question about the race. Give us some tips for first timers. So I started writing a new series and this is part one called Top Tips for Gumbies at Romaniacs. Um, just going through some bits and pieces about the race. First video, part one is before you leave Australia or before you leave wherever you live. So uh, let's get into it. So to pick your class, try and ride with someone who has done the race before. Picking the right class is a huge decision. I originally entered iron class on my first go, but then I rode with a multi-time finisher and he recommended that I change to bronze. He was spot on. Try and tee up a ride with someone who's done the class you've entered in and give their opinion. The last thing you want to do is spend all that money to be either be too tough and not finish or not tough enough for you to test your limits and get your value for money. Buy the accommodation package. You will be in one of the three big hotels in Cebu which are right next to each other. The Continental, Ramada and the Ibis. If you don't, your hotel won't start breakfast early enough and you don't get the great feed at the Ramada before the ride is brief. Who wants to be shopping and cooking in the middle of the world's toughest enduro, right? Make sure you get a service package that includes transportation to the start and from the finish of each day. Some of the distances are long and you don't want to be riding for an hour before a 5am start of a 120k day, do you? And if you do, you are some seriously sick individual. It's doubtful many of you watching this would have done four crazy days on a bike back to back before. So do some long multi-day rides with minimal stopping. You will get to know where any issues are before you get there. Things like lower back, hand sores and chafe areas, you want to find these out before you get there so you can prepare for them. Surprise, surprise, you will be doing hills in Romania. So find the longest and steepest hills you can to train on. For bronze and below, the uphills are not too crazy and the switchbacks are not that common, but they do go on forever. Train for endurance on the uphills. Now, with the downhills, they will send all classes down really steep walk your bike type downhills. Find some hills that are too steep to ride and train to bulldog your bike down sections. You will be doing this in Romania for sure. You will be riding lots of creeks during the race, even in bronze and iron class. Not crazy long, but long enough that's for sure. Silver and gold will have much more and be much longer. And if it rains, the organization will generally leave them in the race loop, so get practice in them creeks. There's no need to be able to ride cars down a sized boulder creek beds for bronze and iron anyway. But it would be a good advantage if you can stand up on the pegs and maintain a good flowing style without stopping and getting stuck. Smoothness is key. There is so much grip on these rocks even when the water is flowing, it's crazy. There was more than enough water fill points on the track to get away with a 2 litre bladder when I did it for bronze anyway. But if it is hot, you may need a larger 3 litre bladder. As for the other equipment you need to carry like tools, spare bike bits, flares, wet weather, jacket, mirror, map etc. My Ranger 9 U-Suite was just large enough. Place as much gear as you can in the airbox etc or attach to the bike and the rest will fit in the U-Suite. Use a helmet hands free system for the race. You won't be stopping very much and I struggle to find any time to take my hands off the bars to get a drink. Get used to using a hands free before you get there and take a spare valve or bladder with you. If the joining valve fails, which mine has done in the past, the straw is then not long enough to use. Be prepared for this. 
I recommend taking spare liner for the helmet. A change at service point along with gloves will make you feel brand new. Take three full sets of gear, pants, jerseys, gloves, socks, etc. This will be enough to have a gear set dry for the start of each day of the race. You can't carry everything in the race but the standard KTM toolkit is fine. Pliers, axle spanner, sockets, T-bar etc. As for spares, I carried a spare spark plug, front brake lever, clutch lever, lock wire, tie wraps and a few bolts. That's it. Learn how to ride with soft tyres and mooses. If you're not used to it, it will feel very different. You will almost certainly be using these in the race. They require a different technique of riding as they give so much grip. Learn how to use your GPS before you get there. You may not use it that often in the race, but there were so many riders in Romania that had never used one before, it was crazy. The tracks are well marked, but if you get out with the top riders in your class, you will need to use it. This is a big topic, I will do a separate video on the GPS subject as part of this series. Get your preferred electrolyte mix and cramp stoppers ready and tested before you leave. The last thing you want to do is have the squirts on the side of a Romanian mountain watching out for the bears. I'll let you guys learn from my mistakes. Do not pre-book a holiday after the race, anything can happen. Like a broken leg in my case, and well it becomes difficult shall we say. You are also unlikely to get any insurance coverage as you are competed in a competitive race. So wait until the end of the race is finished and then book a last minute holiday if you have some spare time is my advice. And that's it, end of part one of the uh, new series. Subscribe, like and whatever for part two coming up real soon. Um, yeah, so that's how you prepare for the race. So it's an old cliche, but if you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. There you go, a bit of, uh, bit of Welsh philosophy. Uh, I can't even say it, it sounds like Sean Connery. Philosophy, yes. Bit of philosophy for you guys. Um, now we're gonna hit up this creek, finish the day off. Catch you in part two.